Credit cards are a great way to build your credit and pay expenses, but when abused, they can put you in debt and sometimes even a deep depression. In this video, I'm gonna break down six credit card mistakes that people often make and how you can avoid them. Number one is only making minimum payments. Oftentimes, people go on crazy shopping sprees with a goal in mind to pay with their debit card. Once they reach the register, their clerk offers them a credit card that allows them the benefit of not spending any of their own money. This mistake is something I've seen firsthand for as long as I can think. This puts people in a mindset that, hey, I have all this money in my pocket that I can spend on anything. They get that bill in the mail at the end of the month and they know, hey, all I have to do is make this minimum payment. Yes, you should pay at least at least the minimum payment, but I advise you to pay more than the minimum payment. Not paying your bill in full leads you to fall in debt and rack up unneeded interest. By you paying your minimum payment, this is what keeps the banks in business. They make money off the interest that you're paying. Have a payment in mind that's over the minimum payment, make your payments on time, and only use your credit card to your advantage. When you use your credit cards correctly, you have a great credit score, you have the ability to travel free, you have the ability to make money, and you also have the ability to start businesses with no money out of your pocket. Number two is missing a payment. Payment history accounts for 35% of your total FICO credit score. Missing or having a late payment affects your credit score the most out of anything else. If you have a late or missed payment over 30 days, it will affect your credit score in a huge way. You can expect your credit score to drop anywhere from 17 to 83 points for a missed payment and 27 to 133 points for a 90 day missed payment according to FICO data. I always say it's best to either set a reminder at least a week before your due date or even place your bills on auto pay. Number three is maxing out your credit card. Going back to the story of that great feeling of leaving the store buying all of your favorite clothes without spending any of your own money. That great feeling that you have will continue to be a great feeling all the way up until you max your credit card out. And that feeling goes away very, very fast. Maxing out your credit card is the wrong thing to do. It will affect your credit score up to 30%. This is the second biggest impact that you have on your FICO credit score. You will also rack up a ton of interest if you don't pay your credit card in full at the end of every month. If you catch yourself maxing out your credit card very often, call your credit card company and ask for a credit line increase. This will give you more money to spend, but that does not mean that you should. And it will also increase your credit score because it drops your credit card utilization. Number four is closing the credit card. The average length of credit makes up a 15% of your total FICO credit Credit score. Anytime you close a credit card, it affects your credit age and can drop your credit score. For example, I have a credit card from Capital One that I've opened in 2015. I've had that card for seven years. I also opened up a credit card from Navy Federal last year. So if I add up that seven years plus that one year and divide it by the two credit cards, I have an average credit age of four years. If I close that Capital One credit card, my age would decrease to one year. So it's best to keep your credit cards open, especially your oldest ones. Don't close those credit cards unless you absolutely have have to. Number five is not knowing your APR. Getting approved for a credit card is a huge step for a lot of people. They're so excited to use that credit card that they forget to read that long letter that came in the mail discussing the details. You have to read about your annual fee if you have one, your purchase APR, which is going to be your yearly interest rate purchases are charged when you carry a balance month to month. You're going to divide by 12 to get your monthly interest rate. You have your balance transfer APR, late payment APR, late payment fee, balance transfer fee, and your foreign transaction fee. These are all fees that can be easy to ignore and put you in the debt so far that you can't even see straight. So make sure you read the fine print and all of the important information before signing up for that new shiny credit card. Number six is not viewing your billing statement. I like to check my credit card statement if not daily then every other day. Often checking your statement allows you to spot any fraudulent activity early on so you can get it resolved. I also like to check my rewards to see what free things I can purchase and see what new offers my credit card companies are offering. I logged in a couple weeks ago and noticed that Capital One was offering a free $250 if you open up a checking account and deposit at least two checks. That was great for me. I could have made at least $250 just by signing up for a checking account. So check your accounts often and see what offers they're offering you as well and check for fraudulent activities. You don't want your credit card to get shut down by any means to drop your credit score. These are all mistakes that can be easily avoided by simply educating ourselves and being aware. I use my credit card for everyday purchases towards my advantage. Knowing that for every dollar I spend, I earn 2% with the understanding that I will pay it all back at the end of every month. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't already, check out all of my other videos. It's a lot of useful information that I'm sure can help you guys out. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you're notified anytime I post a video. And as always, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you guys so much. Before you guys go, I wanna leave you guys with one word, accountability. I have a group of fans. We all have business and personal goals that we're looking to reach. We have a group text. We're checking in throughout the week. And at the beginning of every single month, we have goals. We 
we say, hey, this is what we reached, this is what we're looking to reach, and we're all holding each other accountable at the beginning of every single month. So what I need you guys to do is find yourself and others around you and hold everyone accountable. You can even do a group text just like we're doing. All I need you guys to do is to hold each other accountable and look to reach your goals today.